This is the place and the ashram from where my spiritual journey began even before I was born. My mother and father both belong from a very devotional Hindu Brahmin family. So from my mother's side, they mainly worship Lord Vishnu. All the other pujas were conducted as well. But speaking about Kula Devatas, they were mainly Vishnu worshippers. And from my father's side, they were Shakta and they worshipped the divine feminine energy. And mostly Kali Puja was conducted every year in a very grand manner. So they were all Kali devotees. I was automatically drawn towards Lord Shiva and I am a huge Lord Shiva Bhakt from the very beginning of my life when I didn't even understand what Bhakti is, what spirituality is or what religion was. I was always completely devotional towards Lord Shiva and I always worshipped him. This is the ashram of Shri Shri Madhavananda Giri Maharaj, also known as Beni Madhav or Moni Baba. I was not fortunate enough to be in his presence because he had taken Mahasamadhi way before I took birth. But even though I haven't felt his living presence, I always feel his energy around me. He has been protecting me all my life. This ashram is more like a home ashram. Not much people visit. It's only the family people and who were his disciples come here. So my mom had come here before my birth and she did a lottery. She wrote down few names uh, in small chits of paper and threw it in front of his uh, Samhadi stall. And she picked up Shohini, which is my name, thrice. And that's how my name became Shohini. And uh, she strongly believes that it is Thakur Baba who has given me this name. So Thakur Baba was born in 1730 AD and after his Upanayana that is the sacred thread ceremony also known as Poite in Bengali he went to Kali Ghat with his guru Bhagwan Das Ganguly and fellow Brahmachari Loknath Baba many Bengalis will be knowing about Loknath Baba um, so by cutting off all earthly relations he left with his guru at a very very young age so after that they took journey to Varanasi from Kali Ghat. The two disciples followed their Guru Bhagwan Das. Later Bhagwan Das passed away at Manikarnika Ghat in Varanasi. After that Loknath Baba and Thakur Baba left for the Arctic Circle region across the Himalayas during which they met Abdul Ghaffar, the great Muslim Fakir and Trailanga Swami. The two brahmacharis stayed back at Makkah Sharif where these two intensively studied the preaching of Islam. Abdul Ghaffar Shahid stayed back at Makkah Madina. But the two brahmacharis left for the snow-capped Himalayas and during meditation, Trailanga Swami joined them again and the three holy men left for the Arctic Circle after intense meditation for three years. These three were Nanga Babas or Nude Sadhus went up to Siberia via China and Russia and came back to India after 20 years. On their way back, Trailanga Swami voyaged towards Varanasi. Loknath Baba settled down in Barodi. But Beni Madhav or our Thakur Baba, he decided to leave for Kamakya for further meditation. Many of you all must be knowing Kamakya is one of the most powerful Shakti Peet. Thakur Baba does not have much disciples because he was in silence for many many years which is why he is also called the Moni Baba. He did not speak for years. Our this ashram which is built near the bank of river Ganga is the Mahasamadhi Mandir stands with its tower beaming to the sky. Our great Mahatma Thakur Baba put an end to his life also known as Ichha Mrityu at Lucknow in 1974. Because he did not speak much and because of his long duration of complete silence, there isn't much information about him because he did not even feel the need to make disciples or preach. He just went about being completely dissolved in his own sadhana and devotion.
this is an extremely funny moment. I am terrified of lizards. I am more than comfortable with snakes. I love them, but lizards for some reason they completely scare me. And I had to face my fears, I guess. Just beside the Ganga, it is such a peaceful, serene and beautiful place. And as I mentioned earlier, only the family members visit this ashram. Other people don't have much knowledge about it. And also to preserve this peaceful environment, not much people are allowed inside the ashram. And uh, although in the evening, few do visit who know about it and stay nearby. I have been coming to ashram from such a young age basically from the time I learned how to walk probably from the age of two three I've been coming here and I remember that I used to sit inside and whenever I got alone time with Thakur Baba you know for me this is not just a statue this is him sitting right there and I used to just sit and talk to him for hours in fact, my whole life has been a conversation between me and him. For me, I just know that he is there and he is listening to me. So when I was young, now it's not possible because I travel so much and I don't live here anymore. I have shifted. So, But whenever I get the time, I do visit. But yes, when I was young, I used to come here and I used to sit for hours and just hold his hand sometimes and talk to him like as, as if he was my friend. He still is. He still is my friend, my father, my mother, my brother, sister, everything. This space holds a very different kind of energy because after he took Mahasamadhi in Lucknow, his body was brought here and under this mud or how do I call it, soil, um, they have kept his body and I believe some different kind of energy, extreme divine, powerful, positive energy is emitted from this and instead of Bibhuti, Whenever I come here, I always apply the soil on my major chakras.
Now I will be showing you Patal Ghar or the room that is underground. So this place is very special because it is the best place to sit and meditate. And also you have to clap or click before you enter because we believe that um, energies are inside and we want to let them know before entering. Um, feel like Thakur Baba sits there and does his meditation till date. So for me, I could not miss the chance to sit here and do my sadhana. I have uh, always sat down here for hours and uh, been in meditative states. It's just that back then I did not realize what is meditation, what I'm doing. I just used to sit down and be lost for hours. I don't know how to explain what it was, but it was so beautiful but I really didn't realize it back then. Now I know what it was. And since now I have learned proper ways of sadhana, I have been initiated, I have been given beach mantras and everything. I thought I should not miss the chance to sit in such kind of powerful space and do my sadhana. And I have to say it was so deep, so beautiful. I didn't feel like coming out of that space. There are a few rooms where 
all the things that Thakur Baba used are still preserved. For example, he sat on this tiger skin and he meditated for long hours in Kailash. Sorry, not long hours, many, many months and years actually. And many photos, pictures of his mother, of his family that he left when he was so young. When Thakur Baba was young, this astrologer already predicted his future. He said that this son of yours must be a monk, sannyasi. Never will he stay in family life. And how that calculation of the scholar came to be true. She does seva. I heard that she cleans Baba's room every day and also reads uh, a page of Bhagavad Gita every day to him till date. The bed on which he came and slept during his stay in this ashram is well preserved. After spending two hours, slowly people started coming in the evening. So I left. Also, I got a little bit of Baba's Prashad and I hope I get to visit soon again. <laughs>